Charlotte Lewis. I'm from Geneva, Switzerland. The first time I had to come out was uh, to my mother. I came out, I was 16 years old. We were in Geneva. She said, that's great, um, but you're still going to marry a man, right? I came out to my friends, said, that's great, but you're still going to date guys, right? Came out to my dad, you know, he was, he was wondering, am I going to have children? It felt like every time I came out that it, it, people were okay with it, but there was always a but. So that kind of followed me for, for those first few years, and I think it affected the way that I carried myself and the way that I felt comfortable um, really coming out to people, or whether should I come out to people. So I moved to San Francisco. Um, I joined uh, my current employer. I was about 20, 22 at the time. So one of my very first projects was in Houston. It was an oil and gas company. Um, and so it, we went to um, the client site over there. Uh, we were all in a conference room, which was our team room, and uh, the client walked in and the conversation turned to politics, um, and he said something extremely homophobic. Uh, it was very hurtful to me. He didn't realize that I was gay. My team didn't realize that I was gay. Um, but, you know, the team didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. It made me feel so guilty that I didn't say anything. Um, and, you know, I, I kind of had it in my head going in, loop, in loops, like what I should have said and what I could have said. And so I promised myself right there that next time that something like that would happen, that I would, you know, I would stand up for myself and I would uh, correct him or I would go to my team and tell them that that made me feel really uncomfortable um, and ask them to, to help correct that as well. It was at that time that I actually had a friend that said, well, you know, you should, you should join the, the LGBT group at your company. Um, and so I thought, yeah, why not? So I, I joined the, the LGBT group. I remember the first time I joined, I actually went to a meeting and it was uh, a bunch of people around the table that were from all walks of life, like all ages and genders. It was just really wonderful to, to find a group of people that not only were, could be friends and could be a network, but also I could look up to and could be a role model just for in life in general. Um, and so that really changed my outlook. I actually got quite a bit of coaching around what I could do if a situation, you know, like Houston occurred again. Um, you know, how I, like what, what resources I had available to me. And in general, just made me feel much more comfortable that I could be myself, I could show up and be successful. I did get my moment of um, what's the word, got my, my, my moment to redeem myself, you know, after the Houston event, let's call it. I was on a project and somebody who reported up to me came to me and said, hey, I feel a little bit uncomfortable because uh, last night this client said something really inappropriate to me, um, something sexual. Not that it changes anything, but this man was much older than her. Um, and she felt really uncomfortable. She said, but you know, he's really drunk. He was really drunk. I don't want him to lose his job. Um, I don't think we should say anything. And I said, no, we should absolutely say something. You know, like, absolutely, this is not appropriate. You know, this is a professional setting and you should stand up for yourself. So we went to our mutual boss and she reacted instantly. We went to, uh, you know, the top, like the, leadership from the client, HR got involved, and everything was dealt with within 24 hours. There wasn't repercussions, you know, like weird retaliation or anything like that. It just was dealt with. I think it was really a lesson to say, you can stand up for yourself, even if it's somebody that, you know, you're not sure how it's going to affect you in the, in the future, um, and people are going to support you. Today, I actually lead the LGBT circle that, um, that I once joined, you know, eight years ago, uh, and the reason I do that is because it had such a it had such a strong impact on me. Uh, I want to be able to be that same role model uh, for others and and make sure that they stand up for themselves and they can be themselves. You don't just come out once; you have to come out every single day, and that's actually incredibly powerful. Coming out is an act of activism, right? So it's your moral duty to come out and to. Uh, 
tell people who you are and have those conversations and change hearts and minds. Mm -hmm.